downloading. Hello, my friends. It is great to see you again. I am so excited because today I got a package in the mail. Guess what was in it? Snake Eyes and Cobra Commander from the 1991 G.I. Joe Hall of Fame series. Now, because there's so much to look at for each figure, we're only going to be looking at one this video, uh, probably Cobra Commander. And then in another video, we'll take a look at Snake Eyes. And then in a later video, we'll have playtime. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and open up Cobra Commander. I, I'm just so excited to look at this figure with you. All right, now that we have our Cobra Commander opened up, we'll go ahead and look at the figure itself. Um, his hood is rubber and it comes off. His head swivels side to side pretty easily. Go ahead and take these dog tags off. You know what, we can take a quick look at these. <clears throat> there you have the Cobra logo. And on the other side, a little bit of information about Cobra Commander, which is all classified, of course. And I really like the detail they put in these figures, because look at, like his mask is uh, like a snake skin. <clears throat> his shirt, even though it looks like it has buttons, it's, it's Velcro. So it's easy to take off if you want to change his uniform. We've got the Cobra logo painted on the front. <clears throat> I went ahead and I put on the... Um, the holster for the 9mm and I also put the sheath around his leg for his knife. His shoulders swivel and they go all the way around and then they go up and down at the sides. Right here is where the arm turns at the bicep. He's got soft hands so he can grip his, uh, his weapons. The elbows bend two pops just like that <clears throat> the waist does not turn uh, the hips swivel like the sorry let me move that the hips swivel like the shoulders forward back and out at the sides you can do the splits the knees bend like the elbows two pops He has rubber boots, the Cobra logo on the bottom, and he has rubber feet, so the boots are a little bit easier to take off and put on. Look at that flexibility. I mean, there's nothing in there, it's just a piece of rubber. Here's a look at Cobra Commander's machine gun. Originally, it did have lights and sound, but you know, it's from 1991, so the battery died. The gun doesn't work anymore. Unfortunately, there is no way to replace the battery either without disassembling and potentially ruining the gun. Now we'll take a look at the Cobra Combat Command case. Looks like a metallic briefcase. It does open up. Here's a compartment for his 9mm and his knife. And on the back, I love this. It's got this old school technology like his cell phone, a reel to reel audio recording device. It's got some monitors and a keyboard. Things to do conquer the world. <laughs> it's really neat. Here's a very brief look at the 9mm and the knife together. Um, they don't have any functioning parts, they're just solid pieces of plastic. Uh, they do have some pretty nice detail to them. I really like that knife handle. 
Um, here's the sheath for the knife. It just slides right in. And he wears this on his leg. <coughs> the uh, holster for the 9mm. The gun just slides right in there. And fastens like so. Well, my friends, that's going to do it for our look at Cobra Commander. Thank you so much for joining me. I always love seeing you. And I'll see you in the next video when we take a look at Snake Eyes. Until then, you take care.